everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is Siki and I post videos about books and life and wellness um, today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the books I actually all the books I read in January for context today is February 20th so I definitely try to remember um, the details about all the books I read but better late than never so let's get right into it one of the books I read in January was Nearly All the Men in Lagos Are Mad by Damila Kuku. So this is a collection of short stories basically sharing experiences. I, I don't think it's experiences of the author, but basically sharing stories about men in Lagos. So Lagos is not the capital of Nigeria, but a really big city. Kind of what Toronto is to Canada. It's very like, it's like a melting pot of a lot of Nigerian cultures. Like if you've read Stay With Me, this is kind of the same vibe in the sense of just like crazy stories but stories that are also very normal and it wasn't really none of the stories were really a shock for me because I've kind of heard about it so I don't want to give any spoilers but if you're looking for like a if you're looking for an easy read if you're looking for a fun read this is definitely a book you should pick up it definitely gave Nollywood vibes my favorite story was um, first times and also forget the name first time and i knew you so a lot of the stories are very like dramatic but i definitely think that there should be more books like this literature is for everybody and i enjoy books like this second book i read was hood feminism by mickey kendall if you've watched my reading vlog which you should if you haven't um I, I i was reading this book during the reading vlog and if you watch that vlog you know how i said that the first two essays were not um how do i say it? like they were there were things i already know but that's because i have lived experiences on these issues but finishing the book i was just like like if i were to give like a long juicy rant on what is wrong with white feminism and the way we go about feminism in today's society this book would satisfy it i really enjoyed that it was very comprehensive there's other issues that affect the lives of women and we shouldn't just focus on um power in relation to men we should try to improve the conditions of women in general not necessarily when it compares to a man like the yeah. author really highlighted how white feminism only focuses on patriarchy without really focusing focusing on other issues that affect women so it talked about hunger it talked about gun violence it talked about indigenous rights etc so i this is definitely a book that you should pick up intersectional feminism feminism 101 is this book not me collecting stamps for the thing um what do you guys use as as bookmarks because for me i usually either fold my page in half or i put random stuff inside my books but the third book I read was Braiding Sweetgrass by Robin Wall Kima Reba and basically it's indigenous wisdom, scientific knowledge and the teaching of plants. As you can see, I haven't finished this book but this was the first book I, I started reading in January and I feel like it really started my year off right in the sense that when everyone was making like New Year, um, you know, New Year goals and stuff, like I was just... I just wanted to take things slow like I just wanted to flow and not force things so I feel like this book really put in perspective for me the benefits of living slowly the benefits of paying attention to your surroundings and it really showed me what it means to be indigenous to a place it really showed yes the scientific part of nature etc but it also showed that um, it's also very human like we sometimes take away from nature and from science all the all the human parts of it so i need to reread this book i feel like once i finish this part i'll definitely go back to reading this part the next book i read for the month of january is professional troublemaker the fair fighter manual and guys like lovey ajayi jones needs to teach people how to write self-help because i don't want self-help that's like aspire to perspire them so you don't expire like this is how you write self-help like make it relatable make it funny make it practical um as i really like highlighted a lot in this book and read it especially if you're a black woman 
read this book especially if you struggle with fear read this book um yeah that's it for this video i know like it's not like actually you know what i'm going to give myself props because this is the most i have read in a long time i usually read around two two to two and a half books so this time i actually read like four which is a lot i didn't read all of them in the month of january like some of them i finished on like the third of february but i don't think that should yeah i'll probably do a i'll probably do like a, all the books i read in february it'll probably be two because it's already the 20th and i haven't even read that much but that's okay life happens i also have a full-time job and other things i'm doing so if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment i am trying to see what kind of videos i enjoy filming i enjoyed filming this video so yeah thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe leave a comment and i'll see you in the next video bye